Hey guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies, and it's winter in New England. A little bit of chill in the air. And if you're a thrifty Yankee like me, you're always looking for ways to pinch a few pennies. I'm gonna show you the bedroom here. As you can see, it's a little bit of a vaulted ceiling. And as we all know, heat rises. So as a result, the bedroom is always by far the coldest room in the house. So rather than jack up the heat house to 78 degrees and pay a small fortune, gonna get one of these little Duraflame infrared stove heaters just for this room. Looks like an old fashioned wood stove. It's got the flames and the wood and the char in there. There's the infrared heater on the bottom coming right at you. And guess what guys, it's even got a remote control. You don't even have to get out of bed to raise and lower the temperature. Very traditional, aesthetically pleasing design. It's got the fake door there, the hinges and the handle. And it comes in all these different colors. You got the traditional black, white, blue. There's a little video of how it looks. This is the QVC website where I got it from. Definitely wasn't cheap, it's $319. But we gotta look at the big picture. If I can keep the house heat down to 62, just heat this one room, overall that's gonna be a net savings. 211 reviews, 3.3 stars out of five, not that great, but most of the complaints are with the cheap legs falling off. Like this one right here, legs did not line up with the screw hole. Hey, it's probably made in China like everything these days. It's definitely light and cheap compared to the other Duraflames I have. Lily Joe gave it four to five stars. So far, I love this little heater. Looks good in the apartment and it heats well. Love the remote control. Like others, I had to wrestle with the legs. With the cost of oil at an all time high, this heater is not only beautiful, but very efficient. We have a den in an old home that does not get sufficient heat. That's the same thing with this room here. The price of natural gas, it's only going to get higher this winter as the temperature drops. Anything we can do to save a few pennies. So let's go ahead and order this thing. And here it is. It has arrived. Pretty big box. It's not that heavy. Carried in myself, no problem. There it is there, a little outline. I'm gonna estimate the box is maybe about four feet tall. Time to open this bad boy up, see what we got. See what this heat is all about. Come on, open up. And we get all this styrofoam junk. That's to be expected though. Legs in the styrofoam. We got another language here too. And no place to really grab it. I'm just gonna try to slide it out of here. And yeah, finally got it out of the box. Really fits in there like a glove. But now it's out and gonna get our first look. There it is. This is the blue color. I don't know if you can see in this light. It's a little bit dim here. And I almost didn't even notice, but the legs are taped into the bottom of this thing here. Black right in. Oh, we got styrofoam flying everywhere. And it is true what other people have said. It's not metal. It's only cheap plastic. This part's metal though. And got the directions here. Package contents. We got the stove, four legs, one remote control, assembly screws. Ooh, I still gotta find the remote control and the assembly screws. Uh, let me get back to you while I look for that stuff. All right, and it looks like the remote control is wrapped up in the plug here. Gonna undo this and see what it looks like. There we go, slide that right off. And remote control, oh, it's only a very small one. And how about the screws for the legs? Yeah, the screws for the legs are there too. Okay, so we're all set. So this is the part everybody said they had problems with, mounting the legs. Here are the directions. Align the mounting tab into the bracket and lower the leg into place. Fasten the leg into the bracket using the included screws, one per leg. Here goes nothing. Oh, so it's got these three holes here, and then it's got the three tabs on top should just fit in like a puzzle easier said than done oh yeah this is gonna take some work for sure get right back to you guys all right through a little bit of trial and error I'm gonna show you guys the best way to put it in it's definitely a cheaply made product no arguing that the holes aren't really precisely cut so just kind of line it up generally use your fist to bang it down like that and then once it's in there, slide it back into place. Still not 100% stable like it should be. Still going to be a little bit rickety. But once you turn it over, it's not going to fall down. That's the important thing. Duraflame definitely cheaped out on the legs. No question about that. It's the weakest link of this product. All right, got the screws in. I know you guys can't really see it with the lighting here. You need a Phillips head screwdriver. It's true, the screws don't really line up. They don't really do that much to secure it anyway. You'd probably be good without the screws. But I guess it is nice to have it. Like I said, just a cheap product when it comes to 
so the legs and the screws. So now we're gonna turn it over, gonna show you guys how it works. Got a three prong plug, got this little cover on it, gonna slide that off. Gonna plug it right in here under the night light. There we go, get in there. Now for the next step, gonna get this remote going. And guess what guys, Duraflame actually gave us a battery. It's one of those little hearing aid style batteries that just slides out like that. Battery is in, ready to go. Just reviewing the directions one more time before I turn it on. We got the power button, the flame button, the heater button, timer, five brightness levels on the flame. Heater goes from 62 to 82 degrees. And there's a sleep timer ranging from 30 minutes all the way up to nine hours. To say you're just getting into bed, just wanna have that heat for an hour or two before you fall asleep, then once you're sleeping, who cares if it gets a little bit colder? So here it is, the Duraflame remote. Gonna turn it on. Whoa, look at that. It does look more authentic than I thought. As you can see, it just said on on the bottom. And let's check out this flame setting. This is the default flame five. That says F5 on the bottom, F4, F3, F2. Oh, so it's getting dimmer. Oh, and then zero is the lowest setting. F5, we got the brightest setting. Got that little ambiance. Like we're in a New Hampshire country inn with that flame and I can already feel the heat spewing out the bottom there. We got the up down here. So let's see how that works. I don't know if there's a setting there. Oh, 82, okay, 82, 80, 78. So it goes in two degree increments. Gonna put it on the highest, 82. And now the timer, like one of those old fashioned sand timer things, that's how they signify it. 30 minutes, all right. So 30, one hour, two hours, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it just resets for the 30 minutes. Okay, not bad, not bad. So this is where the heat actually comes from on the bottom. You can see how it's red hot. I guess you don't want to touch that, but this part you should be able to touch. I don't know. Ah, just kidding guys. Just kidding. That was a joke. I didn't get burnt. This is completely cool, decorative. You can touch it. It's actually like uh, not even plastic. I want to say like a styrofoam kind of thing. I don't know. And then what's this in the back? This is just basically a LED light making these fake flames, but it does look nice. It does look nice. And check this out. It's actually real glass and it opens. I don't even know why it opens, but it does. And then on top, it's completely cool. But just gonna go over safety really quick, guys. This appliance is hot when in use. Do not let your bare skin touch the hot surface part, which is the bottom. Never leave it unattended. Appliance isn't to be used by children. Always unplug when not in use. Do not operate it if it has a damaged cord. If the supply cord is damaged, don't attempt to replace it yourself. The manufacturer has to do it. Don't use it outside. Not for use in bathrooms, laundry air, similar locations. Don't run the cord under carpeting. Do not insert any foreign objects into the ventilation or exhaust. Do not block air intakes. Use only as described in the manual. And connect properly to a grounded outlet. And as you can see here, no extension cords. But if you follow all those directions, hopefully this is gonna save a few fish niggles with everything going on in the world. Natural gas has spiked, but that's the world we live in. All we can do is prepare as best we can keep our fingers crossed hope for the best this is a nice looking product hopefully pretty reliable aside from the plastic legs i mean duraflame it's a great brand it's been around a long time it's also aesthetically pleasing looks pretty legit looks almost like the real thing obviously no soot no ashes you don't have to put wood in there maintenance free just plug it in so that wraps it up guys have you had the duraflame heater what's your experience been one thing I'm really interested in has your electric bill spiked is this thing expensive to run do you still end up saving money at the end of the day because you can turn down your house if you're using natural gas or oil let us know in the comment section so we can all benefit how long has this thing lasted is this a product that's going to last five years ten years more who knows keeping our fingers crossed it did cost a pretty penny over 300 bucks but usually in this case it is worth paying for quality guys thanks a lot for watching I appreciate 
appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you like this video, hit that like button right now. That's what keeps me going. If you really liked it, leave a comment down below. I respond to all comments. If you really, really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I post a little bit of everything, product reviews, vacation reviews, do-it-yourself, a smorgasbord of YouTube. You guys know how it is. But for now, time to go make a cup of hot chocolate and sit in front of the Duraflame. Until next time, guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies, signing off.